Hey, pleasant good morning to you. Uh, when I went to the U.S. sometime years ago, got a U.S. driver's license, went to school there as an adult for a little time, and I realized that, hey, I'm driving in the United States, and every now and then, I want to drive on the left-hand side of the road. But I had to be careful because in the U.S. they drive on the right-hand side of the road. Rules, eh? no matter what you do, there are rules that we have to follow. God created mankind and he gave us 10 very important rules that no human being can better. And societies are run by these rules if we want them to run safely and in a peaceful manner. God did not take any chance. He spoke because in Exodus chapter 20 says, and God spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of. And then he goes on to itemize and he points out, thou shalt have no other gods before me. He pointed out that very clearly, don't have other gods before me. In other words, I am in charge of the universe and I am the one who you need to obey. Now, in dealing with the Ten Commandments, remember that just as I living in the U.S. for a short while and I understood that I have to obey the rule of driving on the right hand side or else I'm going to die suddenly. Similarly, in living my life, I have to remember God's rules and I have to remember them not only to please God, but to please mankind. I live in a neighborhood, in a small community, and the people close to me, they don't steal. So they are obeying that rule of God that says, thou shalt not steal. They are Christians and they obey that rule. And the community, that area is safer because we are obeying that rule. So next time you hear somebody saying, hey, Ten Commandments nailed to the cross, done away with, tell them, shh, hush your mouth. This guides us. It causes us to be safer. It causes us to be happier. It causes us to love one another truly because the commandments point out I, that I should love God and I should love mankind also. God and Father, guide us as we go through the day and help us to obey your commandments, which really is Solomon's conclusion too, which says uh, that the conclusion of the whole matter of life is to fear God and to keep his commandments because this is the whole duty of man. Bless us as we go through the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.